Hello folks, uh, <coughs> this is uh, 2011, May, June, paper 2-1, and the question number is 2. It is also concerned with the chapter work, energy, and power. And the first question is concerned with work. So since we have uh, defined work uh, many times, I am not going to do this. So let's go directly to question number B. It says that a car is traveling along a road, a road that has a uniform downhill gradient, downhill slope, as shown in figure 2.1. The angle here is 7.5 degree. The car has a total mass of 850 kg, so it is M. And the angle of the road to the horizon is 7.5, degree, so it is alpha, let us say. Uh, calculate the component of the weight of the car down the slope. So the uh, component of this thing uh, will, will come out to be will come out to be come out to be uh, so it will be uh, the weight component is equal to mg sine of alpha that will be equal to m is equal to 850 into 9.81 into sine of 7.5 degree so the value will come to be equal to so let me use a uh, calculator let me use calculator here so slightly this is off location so when I do the uh, calculation, so it will be equal to uh, 850 into, sorry, sorry, 850 into uh, 9.81 into, into sine uh, 7.5. So the value is equal to 1088. So it is equal to 1088 uh, Newton. Newton, so it will be equal to 1088 Newton. Or if... Uh, uh, we need 2 SF, it will be equal to 1100. If it is a 3 SF, it can be 1090 and so on. So this is the value of the component of weight. Now, the car uh, is traveling at a constant speed of 25 meter per second. Meter per second. The driver then applies uh, the brakes to stop the car. So then uh, he or she applies the brakes to stop the car. The constant force resisting the motion of the car is 4600 Newton. So the opposing force here is the force opposing is equal to equal to 4600 newton the force opposing acts in this way this is force opposing so show that the deceleration of the car with the brakes applied is 4.1 meter per second square so what is happening here is the force opposing act on uh, upward the component of the weight act downward and the resultant force will be equal to the resultant force is equal to force opposing minus wc it's because uh, the vehicle ultimately comes to stop which means that the opposing force should have been greater than the coming of the weight and that's equal to mass into acceleration of the body so this gives us 4600 minus 1088 is equal to mass is again 850 into this a so therefore a should be equal to 4600 minus this is so 4600 minus 1088 equal to this much so it is 3512 divided 850 and that will be equal to divided 850 it's equal to 4.13 4.13 meter per second square and it is um, and it is <coughs> so this uh, value of a is the retardation or deceleration because what I have done is, I have uh, uh, I have done here larger force, which is the opposing force, and smaller force is the ascending force, and ultimately this A means the deceleration. So it's equal to 4.13 and nearby equal to 4.1 meter per second square. Now, calculate the distance the car uh, the car uh, travels uh, from when the brakes are applied until the car comes to rest. So in this case, if it comes to rest, then I must have the distance is equal to equal to equal to v square by twice into acceleration or duration so this v is equal to 25 square 2 into 4.13 so this will be equal to so into 2 equal to uh, divided 25 square equal to so reciprocal equal so this is equal to 75.63 meters so if in 3 sf it is 75.6 meters and if it is uh, uh, 2 sf i can just write 76 meters now the next is the loss of kinetic energy of the car so since it is brought to rest delta ke is equal to ke initial minus uh, zero so it's equal to 
the k initial is equal to 1 by 2 m into v square minus 0 equal to 1 by 2 into 850 850 into v square equal to 25 square so its value will be equal to equal to uh, 0.5 into 850 into uh, 25 square is equal to is equal to it is a 265625 joules so if i write it in a uh, in uh, uh, three S, it will be equal to two six six zero 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 joules. Now, the work done by the resisting force of four six zero newton is equal to so work done by resisting force is equal to opposing force is equal to F opposing into distance that's equal to forty six hundred into the distance is as we did it uh, uh, before. It is seventy five point six three meters. So it is seventy five point six three meters. So it's equal to 75.63 and that's equal to equal equal to so 4600 into 75.63 equal to equal equal to it is equal to 3478.98 uh, joules so if in 3 sf it's equal to 3480000 joules zero joules now the quantities in part 1 and part 2 are not equal explain why these two quantities are not equal so we have to go for the missing part and the missing part is that part is that this thing this thing is not happening on a plane surface it's happening on an inclined surface so all these calculations have not taken the change of p into account potential energy so uh, definitely the missing part should be the change in potential energy so 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 what i've done is uh, not equal because not equal because because the change of the change of potential energy potential energy energy has not been has not been included yet included yet so if it is included and proper calculations done then definitely uh, the energies should be equal